from the smokiest neighborhood in the known universe, welcome to Noisy Goodness. Take two. <laughs> yeah, I did that on these. From the noisiest neighborhood in the known universe, welcome to Smoky Goodness, where today we're doing something that I hadn't planned until just a few days ago. Uh, the premise behind that is that I saw another video on YouTube that uh, made me stop what I was going to do for tonight and do this. Here's the story. Uh, a couple of months ago, Greg over at Ballistic Barbecue was holding a, a sort of a raffle type deal uh, to help out another friend of ours who uh, was having trouble making ends meet, I guess, after a motorcycle accident. And I know all about that. I've been through that broken leg, six months down, six months in a cast, it was no fun. Anyway, that was uh, Gary Pandemonium 2K7. And for this raffle, a lot of us uh, contributed additional prizes to it, me included. Well, it turns out that John over at Big Meat Sunday, a channel that you need to watch, good stuff over there. Anyway, he won uh, the prize that I contributed to that raffle, which was uh, hot banana sauce. And just a few days ago, he put up a video where he used some of that hot banana sauce in a screaming hot St. Louis rib video and recipe that made me sit back and say, I gotta do that, I gotta try that. So that's what we're doing today. We've got liquid fuel hot ribs tonight, right here on Smoky Goodness. Uh, and as usual, did the prep work last night in the kitchen, the darkest kitchen in the known universe. Yeah, we'll do that and we'll, uh, we'll take the tour inside the Wayback Machine, going back to last night. What am I saying? Gotta get out of this. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me Smoky Goodness rib desire! Stick around, Herb. Oh, hey, by the way, before I forget, stick around, I've got kind of an announcement to make, something that uh, will involve all of you, my subscribers. I'll get into that in a few minutes. Let's get these ribs on. Welcome to the darkest kitchen in the known universe. Here are our players. We start off with some cracked black pepper. Over here we've got some rice vinegar. And over here, respect the rooster. Respect it. <laughs> Sriracha sauce. This is a major player in this recipe. All right, over here we've got some soy sauce. We've got granulated garlic. How about some jalapeno jelly? Oh yeah, I love this stuff. We have dark sesame oil. And the star of our show, of course, our hot banana sauce. Another major player in this recipe. All right, let's get this marinade put together. This is gonna be a marinade, gonna be a dipping and mopping sauce also. So let's get this assembled. Okay, we're gonna start off with the hot banana sauce, and I'm gonna be using about one quarter cup of that. Followed by sriracha. We're gonna use an equal amount of that, about one quarter cup. And here the rice vinegar, in lieu of rice wine vinegar, it's rice vinegar. I'm not sure what the difference is, but I'm gonna be using one capful of it. And the dark sesame oil, we'll be uh, using about a tablespoon of this. Soy sauce, I'm just using a splash. And about one teaspoon here of garlic powder. A few turns of pepper. This is gonna rock. And the jalapeno jelly. You know, I'm, I'm gonna use about one half of this jar, maybe even a little bit more. Because like I said, I love this stuff. But wait, there's more. Just a little bit hotter. Tango Verde, Tango Spice right here. Increase the heat volume just a little bit. Gonna use some Tango Verde from Tango Joe's Tango Spice. That's gonna kick it up a few notches. All right, let's give this a good mix. Get it ready. And here's our rack of St. Louis style ribs. Uh, cut them in half and the membranes have already been removed. And we'll just apply some of this awesome sauce all over these ribs. Let 
uh, do an overnighter in the fridge to marinade. And we'll catch you tomorrow morning. prepared in the usual traditional way. The mustard base, some uh, tango spice, midnight espresso, and of course, no drop left behind. Once off of these, we'll end up with the drip pan down below. Infusing flavor into these ribs. I'm probably going to do a uh, probably a two-one-one method rather than a three-two-one method on my record ribs on the hot ones. It'll be uh, two hours as is. I'll boil them in two hours for one hour. And then I'll unfoil them and baste them for the fourth hour. Ought to be good. We'll be back to the rib adventure in just a moment. It's time now for an announcement. Uh, this involves milestones. Uh, as you may know, a lot of us recently here in the uh, little tight-knit foodie community here on YouTube have reached major milestones in terms of uh, subscribers, uh, views watched, things like that. I'm no exception. Week, maybe two weeks ago, and I hope the wind is screwing this up. Anyway, here about two weeks ago, I hit 3,000 subscribers, and that number continues to climb. And I want to thank you guys, all of you subscribers, old and new. It's beginning to get a little difficult to uh, stop by each and every one of your channels and thank you for subscribing, so I'm doing it here. Also, an achievement like that probably warrants some kind of a contest, and I thought about doing that, but I'm not going to do that. Now, in lieu of doing a contest where only one or two, maybe four people would win a prize of some kind. That's not fair to you guys. Uh, so I came up with another idea after watching a, a video over on Chuck Wagon Cowboy's channel here about a month ago. Where he uh, kind of took a commercial break, you know, as you would on TV. And uh, someone else did a little self-promoting during that commercial break. I thought, that's a cool idea. So. Here's what we're going to do. All of you are invited to record a video, uh, kind of a short video. It's going to be uh, maybe 10, 15, all the way up to possibly 25 or 30 seconds. I'm not really worried about the time there. Just don't want them too long. Uh, what I want you to do is promote your channels and promote hard. You know, this is a this is an opportunity for you to gain. Uh, you know. A few extra potential subscribers, at least a whole lot of views, I'm hoping. Um, and the way we're going to do this is uh, have you record, like I said, a video promoting your channel. Tell us why we want to watch your channel. Uh, you can produce, produce, produce. And I, I want to mention something about that here in a minute, too. But uh, after you've made your video, even if it's just a talkie, you know, go ahead and make a video 10 to 30 second video and uh, upload that video as private. Don't make it public, upload it as private and send the link to that video to my inbox here at Smoky Goodness. And what I'll do from there is I've got a program on my computer called MacTubes where I can record anything off of YouTube and uh, download it. Record it, download it, same thing. <laughs> anyway, um, and what I will do is uh, I might do this one of two ways. I'm either going to do one real long video where I just 
string together all of the videos that I receive from you guys. Or I might uh, continue this thing for about a year, depending on how many videos I receive, where uh, if I decide like this to take a break from what I'm doing, uh, I'll stick your video there. And I'll probably do that in order of appearance, you know, you know what gets sent to me first. Uh, we'll be doing it, or I may do it both ways. You never know. But I do. I really would like to do a long video and, you know, a short little commercial break for you guys, if at all possible. So, uh, I'm still working out the details a little bit. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is if you do produce a really good video, uh, please bear in mind that YouTube has their terms of service, you know, and that applies to me as well as everybody else. Even if you have permission to use copyrighted material, especially music, uh, there's a good chance that I don't. So we have to keep that in mind. We can't use copyrighted material. Um, and there's a lot of good sites on the internet where you can get uh, royalty-free music that you can use. Just credit the uh, artist and everything. Yeah. And neighbors. Anyway, uh, whether your channel is huge or you're just starting out, Send me a video. Let's get this thing going. All right, we're about an hour into this. Things coming along really nicely. At this point, I just kind of want to move things around a little bit, keep moving, even cooking. Start with the big rack here. Let's go another hour. Uh, we'll be back and wrap these guys in some tin foil, add a little bit of that sauce to it, and uh, we'll go from there. Like I said, this is going to be a 2 1 1, and you may notice I'm not adding any uh, smoking wood to this. This charcoal is producing just the right amount of smoke. It's not, I don't really want to smoke these heavily because I want to taste the heat. All right. All right, we're two hours in. Time to wrap these guys. A little of the sauce. Drizzle it in and amongst these hot ribs. Ooh, this is gonna be good. Nice and tight. Three hours in, maybe about three hours and fifteen minutes actually. It's looking really good. Oh yeah, yeah. Come on. Oh man, I just got hit with all that flavor. Look at that pullback. Like every dog in the neighborhood could smell this and they're barking about it. Shut up dogs. Oh man, absolutely incredible. I want to save every drop of this. make a mess on the bottom of the grill but that's okay. Got my drip pan under there and I can clean it later. <laughs> okay. Take the remainder of this sauce. Oh yeah. 
we are gonna let them finish off a few more minutes. Wow. We don't have much longer to go. few minutes of my life. I'll tell you what, these things smell beyond excellent. Yes, sir. Okay, put this inside and grab that other rack. taste there, Mr. Smoky Goodness Guy. Let's find out right now. Oh, man. I barely smoked it. It's got a little bit of a smoke on it. Just a little one. Which is what I wanted. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Hands down. Best ribs I've ever made right here. They're spicy, but they're not too spicy. They're perfect. All right. Hi. Mm. Shut up the table.